In this video, I'm going to show you a couple quick things to get you set up for success in this class. The first is creating a folder for this class. I'm going to just do this on the desktop, but you could put this folder anywhere you want except the downloads. Do not put it in your downloads folder. So one way we can do this is on our desktop. So I'm just going to right click, choose new folder, and I'm going to give this folder an appropriate name, something like the science. And inside this folder is where I'll put everything for this class. One of the most common things you'll want to do is download an R Markdown file that I've created. So you'll do this in one of two ways. One would be from the Moodle page. This is an old Moodle page, but same idea. There might be an RMD file here that you could click on to download. Or in one of my knitted files, you may find that there's a spot up here that says code and you can download that RMD file. So it automatically puts it in your downloads folder. But when you download these files, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is move that to the folder for this class. So this is my downloads folder. This is that data science folder I just created on my desktop. So I'm gonna move this over here. And because this has an ugly name, I might wanna rename this. I've clearly downloaded this file before. So give it a nice name and save it there. Okay, the other thing we're gonna do in this class is create our own R Markdown files. So here's one quick example. And to create a new file, you go to File, New File, R Markdown. And I'll just click OK and choose this default for now. If I want to save this file, I go, which you should, at the very beginning, go to File, Save As. And then we will navigate to that data science, oops, not downloads, to that data science folder we just created and click Save. Notice if I make changes to this file, so let's say I delete all of this, that the file name now shows up in red with an asterisk next to it. This is telling me that I haven't saved that file. So be sure to save your files often by clicking on this save button here. Okay, the other thing we want to do to get set up for success is to change some settings. So to do that, within our studio, we're going to go to Tools, Global Options, and in this General tab, which should be the thing that shows up at first, make sure to unclick this box next to Restore our data into Workspace at Startup. So there should not be a check mark here. And then in save workspace to our data on exit, make sure this is set to never. Once you've made those two changes, go ahead and click OK. The other thing we want to do, I'm going to go back to tools, global options, and I'm going to go to appearance. And this isn't actually something you have to change. I just want to point out that there are many different editor themes. So if you like a darker theme when you're coding, you can change it to one of these uh, many available themes. And if you click apply, you can see that change here. I'm going to go ahead and just leave it as the default for now, but feel free to change the theme as you see fit. That's all I have for now. Bye-bye.